we're going to do a quick uh we're going to do a quick uh video quick uh pickup video a new pickup video because i keep doing pickups and i need to just, like i said constantly update 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 all right quick pickups video so for all those know you've been here before it's your homie Chauncey Tully. Uh, gotta hit my low tier God fellas. Oh, oh, oh. Okay guys, uh just got a new pickups. Amazing. Got the hookup. Amazing hookup deal. Then spin a lot as much as the ones prior. That video is, oh, I felt it was a bad pickups, but uh, I gave it a C minus on that pickups. This pickup right here is 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 a good pickup in my eyes. I think it's a good pickup, you know, a good pickup for the price I spent. So, yeah, I, so. Let's start it off with the with this pickup. Pickup I've made. Uh, this is a pickup that I first seen on uh, Facebook Marketplace. So the Facebook Marketplace pickup is a uh, pretty cool. You know, I like it. the Facebook Market is it's alright. It ain't the best, but it's okay. But the first thing I seen and I asked about it was a game that I was looking for. I seen Gunship, and I was like, Yo, Gunship. I don't really want that. But in the Gunship. They had Sam City, and they wanted 10, 10, Sim City 2000. So I was like, yo, I can't beat that. That is fucking amazing. Sim City 2000, which was my favorite Sim City. I don't really care for the PS, you know, the PS2 version. No, PS1 version. I'm, I love the CD, ver I mean, the, the Windows version. But I'm like, Sim City 2000. And Gunship, ah, oh, new games to the collection. Why don't we just add them? And the next thing you know, I looked up some more stuff, and I seen the person. I seen uh, another thing, and it, there was a ton of games, and it had a console, and it wanted one fifty. And I'm like, yo, I don't want to pay one fifty. Only things I want is just pick out certain games out. And then I found out that they they had a uh, a game that uh, I was like, yo, I really just want these games, few games. And one was Grand Theft Auto, the first one, which is, is complete. Everything's look lovely. I already, I already checked uh, the disc and uh, everything and the light. Checked in on that shit. It was amazing. And the next one, it's a game that is sought out by many people that many people love. And it's Parasite Eve. <sighs> Parasite Eve, all three discs is there. So we got disc one. And, oh shit, that shit almost fell on my black ass. This two and this three. The bonus this. Then the bonus this got the Final Fantasy VIII movie, Prey, Fence, Mushashi, a game I really want. Bushido Blade 2, another fighting game I want. And Xenogears, playable demo, which I own. So, after I got that, I was pretty geeked. And I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. Then I found a few deals. One is The Witch and The Hundred Knight. I have seen this game. I have stared at this game. I have wanted this game. But I never decided to pick up this game. So, at $9.99, I couldn't pass that up. And then, you know, I'm looking at it, nine ninety nine was a pretty pretty decent price and everything. And I was like, yeah, I had twenty dollars on me and I was like, yo, I can blow twenty. And then I seen two games. And uh this was a big decision because I kept going back and forth between the games. And the reason why I got this game, which because it came with the manual and I'm like, Yeah, that's a dope thing. And oh my gosh, I just found out that this shit has reverse full cover. Wow. This reverse. I didn't even know it had a reverse full cover. Look at that shit. This is what 
games are made of. This is what make. This is one thing why I loved about the uh, last, last gen. The PS3, P, um, Xbox 360 was the the reversible covers. Those was what made con the console made it so great to be a a collector. This is like a collecting wise because of the reversible cover. I have to say that's probably this is might be my favorite genre, the, the my favorite era for collecting. Because right now it's cheap and it and a lot of places is trying to get rid of this stuff. But uh so this so let me just finish up what I was saying. Oh, that looks so much awesome. So much better. Let's look I like this. This looks so much better right here. Look at that. I still keep the stickers. Print one, get one. But it was between this game and the other game. And the reason why I got that because this, the, I didn't pick up the other game, is because it lacked, it lacked the manual. So I did not pick a, a, this RPG game called, what is it, Nuni Kai Kuno. I did not pick a Nuni Kuno, Kai Kuno. I did not pick that game up. The reason why I didn't pick it up because it lacked the manual. So I picked up a game that is going for forty dollars, and this bitch gave me the wrong fucking game. <laughs> so I gotta go back and pick this up. So I got this game, Super Mario Ultimate tennis match and I just checked in the thing and I got the wrong game I got this I would have been happy it was Mario and, Re and Sonic at the Rio Olympics but apparently I didn't get the right game <sighs> so time for me to hit up this family video and get the Olympic Winter Games out of here and pick up Mario Tennis Ultimate Ultra Smash. So, yeah, I was really looking forward to play this. This is like I like tennis games. Not a big fan of them, but I like playing them. I'm just as mad that the game that I wanted to play, really wanted to play, is not in there. So I just got the Olympics. And if I really, and I was, would have been really sad if it was the other Olympic game. But hey, for to say what not. So with this pickup, I'm at to say for the price wise, these three games. These three games. Eat it like a sandwich. Just get my sandwich pose on. Hold on, let's do it. Let's do it like right. Let's do it right, right here. Ah, that's gonna be my pose. Ah, that's gonna be my pose. Uh, I just uh, I'm just uh happy that I got this. So so right now, I usually give a grade of my game pickups from for the prices. For all this right there, for those six games, I spend ten dollars a piece. I don't like really talk about the games I spend because of the prices, but I'm like, fuck it. You guys want to know what I got? I'm showing you what I got. I should tell you what the fuck I spend on. Some of these games I buy, they're expensive. I'm not the richest guy on earth, but I spend these ten a piece. Cause this right here, she said ten a piece, but the uh, uh, Sim City and Gunship on. On the Facebook Marketplace it was supposed to be ten for both, and uh, she didn't want to do the Grand Theft Auto or the Parasite Eve because I asked for all the Grand Theft Autos, Parasite Eve, and uh, Gauntlet Legends, and she told me no. Uh, and then, and then I found out that she was a Trailer Park Boy fanatic, and then that's how I got these four for the forty. 
then I picked up these two for 20 apiece. That's $60. So $60 worth for these good games. And I really wish I had, when I looked in there, I thought I had, if it was Sonic, Mario and Sonic at Rio 2016, I would have murked out like a punk bitch i would have had the biggest mark out moment ever for those that don't know how hard it is to find a physical copy of that game right now it's crazy but since i got mario tennis ultra smash and i'm just going to go up to the place the bar the family video that i picked up i just get my money you know get the games back you know so for these games right here these games right here i'm about to give a good rating uh, I give a rating of uh, B plus. You guys might think differently. You guys might think like, "Hey, he got a B plus. It's a B plus." No, no, it's. Not. I think it's a decent score. You know, these were scored for the sixty dollar price and got that out. So it's all good. You know. So remember, guys. It's your boy Chauncey True Talent. By the hell, I did that right. Fucking first time? Yeah, oh yeah. Chauncey True Talent. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Bar Mitzvahs, The Elk Lounge, The Legion, all that good shit. And I'm out.